Hey YouTube, today we are going to be painting smoke effects. So I'm gonna take my shield and place it on here. So I've got some reduced white in my brush and I'm gonna come along this edge. We're gonna, gonna put some, we're gonna put some lightly, put some color in there. Just a little bit, reduced down and just barely want to put anything in there. Now in this case, um, you'll see after I remove that stencil what I, why I did that. And I'm going to pull another piece of smoke off here and we're going to let that just slowly blend out on that edge. Now I'll make a decision which one of these lines are coming in front of the other one. So if I were having this line here, let's continue off from this one. And we'll have it coming in front and we will put that harsh line in there and then we'll let that just blend out now as the smoke gets further away from its starting point it starts to get some random stuff in there so we're gonna put just some large figure eight motions up here and we will probably like if we were working with fire. We will let come across an edge, let that blend out a little bit, and then enhance with some freehand. But a couple of things to remember about smoke. First one is that as it goes away, it's always trying to go up because it's lighter than air. It's always going to try to go up, and as it goes away, it will start to break apart and dissipate. Use another shield to like, bring that smoke in this direction. And I'm not concerned if it's perfect. Now, what gives your smoke the effect is, okay, as it folds over itself, it gets thicker and you have more coverage. You have these random streams. So on the thicker parts of the smoke, or as it's folded over upon itself, it tends to get brighter. You have a double layer of your smoke in there. The only place you'll really have a lot of crispness is on the very outer edges and even then you don't want it to be too crisp so generally what I will do at this point is I will look and say okay where is my smoke headed and then that's when I will use a little bit of a shield to give me some crisper edges and then finish that off with a little bit of freehand work because we want those wisps to start breaking up and dissipating, as I was mentioning. So, let's say, all right, here, I will hit a little hard edge and let it flow down a little bit. All right, but underneath here, let's, let's, let's let it roll around. Now, but in between, that fire is breaking up, so I will throw some wisps, just some gentle wisps in here, in the direction of up and to the direction that I feel that the air may be moving my smoke around. That's at the point where it's breaking off into random structures and then you can add a couple harsh lines in here to give different looks as you go but if you pull this line here see it needs to be connected so we want to connect this to that or it won't make any sense now as you see this feels looks brighter and it looks like we have some thicker smoke in here where 
we'll put some brighter sections and maybe come in here brighten that up just a little bit and it's always a much easier effect and better effect when you build it slowly instead of coming in here um, whereas sometimes I would tell you to mix grays up to get the background color and in this in smokes case I generally advise you just use a thinned out white because you want to build that layers up sometimes your smoke will be pushed by currents down so you would have a down current and then it would come back up because the smoke is always trying to make its way up it's important not to work stiff. You want to try to work loose, and it's probably going to take a little bit of practice to kind of get the look that you want. Now, I'm going to add just a little bit more of that random structure inside there because there's not enough. And then we're going to talk about one more thing. If you're struggling to create random looks, Take your shield, set it on here, start practicing a little figure eight and come off here and follow your shield. And you can get some really cool random looks. It'll give you some hard edges along with some soft edges to build up that smoke. Next thing to remember, the direction of light matters. Have you ever driven in the fog? You know, when you turn your headlights on, that's why you got fog lights to head down towards the ground. If you've driven in fog and you shoot your lights, the, the lights reflect back at you. Well, the same thing. If the light is coming from in front of you, it's going to make that smoke appear more opaque because a couple of things happen. It can, it will reflect, refract, and pass through. Light will do all three things when it comes to smoke, same as it will fog. Now where the smoke or the light is coming from the front, you get these bright, really opaque coverage where it's lit from the front. So you can control how you feel the light is coming by how you lay it out. If it's lit from behind or above, it's going to have a more just foggy texture. If it's lit from the front, it's going to reflect a lot of that light back towards your eyes. Okay, armed with the knowledge you have right now, now we can start to manipulate what we can create images out of smoke. And I'm going to do a really, really simple one right now. Okay, so a simple smoke ring um, that's kind of laying in a flat. So we're going to lay this ellipse in, kind of rough ellipse in, right? This side is closest to us, and this side is backwards. So, this side is going to get a little bit of light, but as it comes around and wraps, it's going to get thicker here and brighter. Same thing, because it's doubled up. Because the smoke is thicker as it crosses over itself, and you just left with this little bit. We'll put a little randomness in here. We'll use a crisp edge right there. And we will use a little bit of a crisp edge right there. See how it looks like it's crossing over itself? We'll just put some wisps in there. Hang on, I got a little bit more for you. Anyway, don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and uh, if you got any questions, comments down below. So I'm gonna take my shield and place it on here. Dang. 
All right, guys, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Anyway, we appreciate you. I am Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry. Hope y'all got something out of it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.